Hello and welcome back to the Bielsa Stan YouTube channel. We've got a new video for all of you and it's all about Jave Garcia, that ex-Leeds United manager. We've been talking about his career at Leeds United and his previous managerial career at his other clubs that he's managed. So let's get straight into it. Now, let's talk about his playing career. He actually had a playing career. He played for Bilbao, making 100 appearances. He made uh, other appearances for Villarreal and Real Sociedad. Uh, so yeah, he had a, a playing career for about 15 years. Uh, he then retired in 2004 where he became a uh, youth manager coach at Villarreal. And his first proper breakout, I would say as a manager, like his first biggish club was probably uh, Cadiz, uh, where he managed um, from 2008 to 2010. He also managed in Greece, did you know? In June 2011, he was hired Balos FC manager in the Super League of Greece. Um, he also managed the likes of Almira. So Almira were... A second division team, I believe, uh, and uh, he got promoted with them to the top flight. However, he couldn't agree uh, terms with the Almira management, so he left and he was appointed Malaga. Yes, Malaga manager. Obviously, the last 10 years, Malaga have had a decline but remember when uh, Pellegrini were manager there he, they got to the Champions League uh, I think they got to the semi-finals against Dortmund just losing out and so yeah Malaga's a good team and they were in the first division back then I mean uh, he was there for two seasons finishing ninth and eighth position with Malaga then he joined Ruben Kazan where he was there for a season he finished ninth place and he was uh, he left by mutual consent. After that, he then came to the English Premier League with Watford. Yes, and this is probably his best time during his managerial career at Watford. He was there, uh, being hired on an eighteen month contract after Silver Marco Silva sat now Fulham manager. Um, yeah, his first game in charge was a one 0 loss against Southampton in the FA Cup. Then, uh, then he did manage to keep them up that season. He, he he got them to finish 11th, the highest since 1986 to 1987. Uh, he also, uh, again, took them uh, to a good, good place in the FA Cup the next season, obviously going to the final, but losing against Manchester City, I think 7-0 was in the FA Cup final. But that was the first time in 35 years since they reached the FA Cup final with... Javier Garcia, then uh, he was sacked actually a few months later on September the 7th, 2009, after a poor start to the season, uh, only having one point from, from I think, four games. Um, and I think a lot of Watford fans were upset because uh, a lot of Watford fan, fans think he's one of the great managers there. So, uh, yeah, he then moved back to Spain now. This time he went to Valencia. On the 27th of July 2020, obviously Valencia again has been a huge team in Spain over the last de few decades. But obviously over the last 10 years they've had a, a bit of a miserable time. Obviously they had Gary Neville at one point as manager, believe it or not, with Phil Neville as his assistant. I think Phil Neville also took the manager role. So yeah, ownership hasn't been that great. Management hasn't been that great at Valencia. However... Uh, he agreed a two-year contract with Valencia the, vol the following May after a 3-2 defeat in Barcelona. Uh, Valencia actually finished 14th in that season and he was sacked. He was dismissed. Now, after Valencia, he found a new job, this time in Qatar, replacing Xavi, Barcelona legend, who obviously left to become manager of Barcelona after Ronald Koeman was sacked. He uh, became manager of Al Sadd. Um, and yeah, they won the title there. They retained the title with an eight-two win over over another team. He then left and was replaced by uh, a third Spanish manager in a row. Then, obviously, last year on February two thousand and twenty-three, the twenty-first of February, he returned to England, but this time managing the mighty Leeds United after Jesse Marsh was sacked. Um, and yeah, the, the the club actually announced a flexible contract now. 
as fans, we didn't really know what that meant. We thought probably to the end of the season, maybe with an option uh, to uh, to extend. Um, and you know what? He did quite. He did all right. He won a few games. Obviously, uh, that huge result last season. Who was it against Crystal Palace at home? Kind of lost the dressing room, and then we went in a bad run. But yeah, he was manager for about three or four. Mumps, he won three games out of 12, obviously, uh, losing twice, no, drawing twice and losing seven. So, yeah, 25% overall win accuracy for Leeds he had. Um, but, yeah, look, he was in a tough position. The players weren't performing last season. Obviously, uh, he had to replace Jesse Marsh after the transfer window closed. He obviously had players to work with like Weston McKenney and Patrick Bamford. So uh, he had to be very fortunate to have stayed up with us uh, if he was manager. But I mean, obviously he got sacked four games before the end of the season with Big Sam, Sam Allardyce coming in. Now, he was sacked on the 3rd of May and Leeds United were actually 17th in the league. So we weren't in the relegation uh, zone. Uh, but... Yeah, he, look, he uh, had taken Leeds out of the relegation zone. He earned more points in his 11 games than four clubs around him. So, I mean, like, basically, Leeds United were on form under Javier Garcia compared to the other clubs in the relegation zone and fighting relegation. However, as I say, that Crystal Palace was the nail in the coffin. He got the sack and the rest was history now. How do I think his time at Leeds United was? You know what? He had a very tough time, I think. He couldn't help it. He tried, you know. He obviously wasn't that motivated as Jesse Marsh was maybe. But, I mean, Patrick Bamford said in his podcast with Joe Wilkinson that he he, he really got on with Jave and, and they speak quite regularly. So, I mean, uh, obviously, Patrick Bamford had a lot of affection for him. Uh, he seemed like a nice guy, as I say. He tried, again, in an impossible situation, it seemed. I mean, with the plays he had and... If he did keep Leeds up, I mean, it would have been a minor miracle. But, I mean, uh, yeah, Sam Allardyce obviously replaced him. Um, both managers didn't really have a chance, especially after the transfer window and uh, and being in the form that we were in last season. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have any bad words to say about him. He, he tried. He uh, gave it a go. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. Obviously, uh He's done well previously in his managerial career at Watford, so I mean, at least at least he's got a positive regarding England English football, where he's seen as a seen as a good manager for them. But I mean, yeah, it didn't work out. Obviously, uh, he didn't stay to the end of the season, sacked. But yeah, I mean, he's had quite a varied career, as I say. He's managed a lot in Spain, obviously with Osasuna, Almeria, as I say, Malaga. Valencia, so some big clubs. He's managed, uh, obviously, Al Sad. He's won the league there. As I say, he's uh, he he obviously has it in him to become a all right manager for maybe a championship team or or like a low La Liga team. But um, yeah, that's really it about Javier Garcia. Anyway, let me know about your opinion on his time at Leeds United. Was he doomed from the start? Can you believe it's nearly been a year since he was hired? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, subscribe and I'll catch you later.